So welcome to my channel and on this channel we talk about music, politics, art and everything in between really. <laughs> Apparently, a door for sexy. Okay. And witty. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be speaking about something that happened over Twitter and I wanted to wait and let this whole play out before I came over here and gave you my opinion of it. So if you are not aware, you should be, but there has been, you know, ever since the Me Too movement, women have been coming out and telling their stories about stuff that has happened to them, either being sexually assaulted, rape cases, you know, and stuff being hidden within the family and people not believing women and so on and so forth. So we had um, artists, mainly, uh, well, some, I'm not going to say any of them, some artists, male artists, so this is an opportunity to bring this out um, in a sense through song and you know they did bring it out we had we had the likes of B Floor uh, you know be take it upon himself to bring be a spokesperson to so in the music industry anyway for women issues and we've seen him you know tour especially in America and do his thing. Now, recently, there is an artist by the name of Baba Tunde. Um, I've, done a, I've done a review of his song. I think it's Give Us. I really enjoy that song. I really like it a lot. It's one of the songs that I wasn't feeling so much. Um, but I've done a review of this particular artist here on my channel. And um, he was, you know, he, he is, today I'm making this video on the 17th. And it's the day that he releases his song that is, um, you know, talking about women in abusive relationships. This is going to be a pretty long video. So if your attention span is not so, you know, you might as well pause it and then you come back to it later. It's going to be a very long rant. He inboxed me and he was like, okay, watch out for my new song. And I was really excited. I was like, okay, it better be good, is what I said. And I was. You know, looking forward to it. I didn't put much thought into his new song until it was on Twitter that many women said, you know, we've had a problem with you, actually. You've really written some problematic stuff, bashing feminism, bashing women, basically, for speaking out. And now you want to release a song encouraging women to leave abusive relationships. And I was just like, okay, People change, opinions change. Like my opinions from last year on certain issues are not consistent. Like I have changed with new information. I want to believe I opinions should change when new reasonable information comes through. And I was like, okay, maybe he's, you know, many women didn't understand feminism and now they are, so what's the problem? One interesting thing I found, though, was one lady explained and said, you know, when you tell women to just leave, it is also a form of victim blaming. And I've been one of the people to say, yeah, just leave. She should just leave. Like, what's the problem? If this person is abusing you, you're obviously not happy. Why are you there? Leave. You know, I've been one to say that. But she eloquently explained and said, you know, most times abusive partners people are drawn like it's a stockholm syndrome kind of thing you know they 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 stick with their abusive partners because they either they think they the abusive partner who most times um mentally abuse them into thinking you know like manipulate them sorry into thinking somehow this abuse is your fault why why didn't you greet me when I came to the door? Why didn't you serve me the food a certain way? Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking at me like that? You know, blaming the victim. And so the victim thinks, okay, maybe if I don't look at them, maybe, maybe if I do this, maybe if I do that, then this person will not be abusive to me. Or, okay, if I leave, where am I going to go? 
my family is probably going to send me right back to this person, especially in African culture. Most African cultures where divorce is frowned upon, you know, you have to stick through it. Marriage happens only once, divorce, no. So you're going to go, you know, so it really opened my mind up to this other way of thinking. And I'm like, okay, I have been saying, I should probably stop saying that because you don't really know this. These things are very psychological. Sometimes it's a very nuanced um discussion it's a very nuanced thing it's so complex at some point that you just don't fathom it it's like how do you human nature you know it's humans are very complex individuals and when i thought about that i was like huh this person has a point and i do hope and i was hoping that through all the stuff that was happening over the timeline uh, Baba Tunde was able to, you know, get a few points and would polish his song and be like, okay, yeah, this was a good point. I'm probably going to put it in my song. The reason why I say this was this was happening before the release of the song. So, so you know, you can change a few words here and there. Other people had a problem with him. Like, they had a problem with the person. Like, we just have a problem with you. Okay. But for me, I do hope I have not yet listened to the song. I was also a bit conflicted, especially when his friends on the, on the timeline came up and somehow turned this into a let's bash uh, the LGBT community. Let's bash feminism. Like, okay, this song is literally talking about women and feminism is mostly about equality for women. So you're not doing him any favors. It was so, it just turned into something else that I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to put it right there because no. <laughs> that's where I was at that point. But I do hope I am going to listen to the song. The only reason why I'm going to listen to the song is I would like to hear um, if he took into consideration what other women were telling him that you just saying just leave is very nuanced excuse that excuse that noise it's very nuanced to just say you should just leave i do hope he took into consideration all the things that were said and he you know being an artist he managed to bring that in the song i will review the song hopefully we'll see another thing was that wasn't the timeline was he himself spoke about him being sexually assaulted by a woman. And um, I was like, whoa. And he said, you know what? This woman has been in the forefront talking about sexual assault and so on and so forth. And he called her out on it on, on the timeline. And I said, good for you that you've caught out this person. The lady that he caught out, however, tried to come on the timeline and say, you know what, you should have pushed me away, basically trying to throw back the blame at him. And I was not having that. I was like, mm -mm, you, you, ma'am, sexually assaulted this person. You're not going to try and just because he's a guy that he should push you away. You keep your hands to yourself. And I stayed that on my timeline. That defense that she brought up was trash and her friends i'm sure spoke to her because i i saw she wrote in the timeline that what i said was trash that was not okay in any way shape or form i should not have said that and i'm sorry for saying that i don't know if she apologized to 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 baba Tune and she spoke to him about that i hope she did if he chose to because that was not okay that was not okay and i don't know how he feels at this point um i do hope he gets you know the help that he needs it was very unfortunate that the people that i've seen that are usually on his timeline were making light of it were making fun of this and the feminists themselves that the, his friends on the timeline bash were the ones who were defending him and were like you were sexually assaulted this is not okay you know and i mean me being a twitter feminist i was also like he was sexually assaulted and she should have come. He did not give consent in any way, shape, or form. And the girl was dead wrong, like dead wrong. And I don't know if he's gonna what he has done about this, but if speaking out helped him heal in 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 a way, I hope it has. But he should know if you're watching this, what happened to you was not okay, and it's not your fault. It wasn't your fault in any way, shape, or form. She was wrong, and I hope she apologizes and takes steps. To seeking help it, whatever it was sad i was not surprised i was 
shocked but not surprised that many men found this as a way to make fun of Baba Tunde and, uh, you know, laugh at him for not being man enough. Like, how can he not want to sleep with a girl? Like, a girl is literally like she's into you. As usual, men. Not surprised. Not surprised. Shocked, but not surprised. And this just showed, like, we have a long way to go. A long way to go before we take sex the sexual assault of men seriously or rape of men or in any, in, you know what, any sexual crime against men seriously, especially perpetrated by women. We, we have a way to, a long way to go. And I hope that everybody learned something from what had happened on the timeline. And I, I, I was conflicted. I'm not going to lie. I was conflicted about whether I should pay attention or listen to the song. But now I am going to listen to it and I'm specifically going to listen to hear if he paid attention to what the women on the timeline were telling him, actual victims and also people who've been through, through it. Because most times as uh, women, especially coming from an African household, we are told to, you know, it's all falls on the woman. The rise and fall of the house, it's all on you as a woman, as a wife, you know, so... I do hope he took into consideration that this is a very nuanced discussion. It's it's not it doesn't just have one simple answer. <sighs> that was a long rant. And um, are you going to listen to uh, the song? What are you looking forward to to hearing in this new new song that um, you know Baba Tunde is releasing today? And do tell me what you think. If you if you listen to it before I do, just leave it in the comment section. I'll probably do another video next week uh, reviewing the song. And uh, yeah, it was very heavy on me. Like it was. Whew. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.